years. That has sort of been my thing. And um, so most of you know, like I direct a lot of shows and I work at Southern Miss and host City Players, and so I'm always never on stage so much. I'm in the auditorium pulling my hair out somewhere usually. Um, and so HCLO has always been my place to be on stage, and I've been able to be in a lot of fun productions. And what I wanted to tell you is, this is a musical town. If you don't realize that, like HCLO's history is one thing, but just look at what it's done and what it's turned out for so many people. I look at people all out here who should probably be on this cabaret tonight. Like seriously, tables full of people that sing and can do some amazing things. And on the stage. Um, and, well, they were up there, they disappeared. Miss Hannigan took them out. Um, so, but I, between the universities that are here, the junior colleges, um, from stage struck and the uh, elementary things, I mean, just coming up, besides this, you have what, Rock of Ages is coming up. I saw um, Guys and Dolls is coming up at Southern Miss. You had um, Jones announced, yes, yeah, that's right, right? Um, and then Jones has announced Mamma Mia. Festival South will do a summer show kind of thing with the Hub City players. HCLO has a show in here too. I'm not sure that it's been determined because I'm talking off the book and you know, they're probably hating me for that. But here's the big deal. If you don't know, if you've never been involved with these things, and this is not a plea for money, but I'm gonna start, I'm gonna tell you. Like to basically do a show, anybody who's in this room that would be okay, if you don't have a five figure number with a comma in it, you're not starting that show. And it's probably not 10,000, it's probably more in the 30,000 range. By the time you buy the rights and pay for lights and pay for sound and buy some costumes or make some things and do some sets, it's just undoable. And a lot of us are struggling through to make it. And I think this is a real interesting situation that we have here. And I'm really fortunate that I sort of live in the university side of it, but we have to fight for every penny there, I promise you. And in the Hub City Players world, I mean, I've probably seen several people in this room that have come to me and go, I need money. I need money from you. In fact, I hate to be that person because so many times I am that person when they see me come and they go, oh, <laughs> but I, I think it's an incredible opportunity we have here. And so I heard something tonight, and it's one of the truest things, because also my day job is PR and marketing. And somebody said, I didn't even know about this until I read it on your wall. Well, let me tell you, when you're trying to sp spend every dime on making sure you have the music and the piano player and the lights and the costumes and all, the last thing sometimes you have times to do is print that poster, buy that advertising, and get those things out there, and it's not cheap. Not cheap at all, as somebody who does that. So the best word of mouth is this word of mouth. When you leave here tonight, I hope you tell people, you need to go to shows. Make it part of your thinking to go to shows. There was a time, I remember, when HCLO said they were doing a show, we didn't even need to know what it was going to be. We bought our season tickets and we went. When we were driving from McCollum then to come do that. When William Carey said they were doing a show, we came because it was the coolest thing going. Now we have 800 million channels of television that people would rather sit in front of, and I'm proud of you for being here, but of course I do know that the Alabama LSU game ended before this started. <laughs> so, otherwise it would be us singing for each other. <laughs> so, and the fact that I know that should impress many of my friends who know that. <laughs> so there you go. So it may not be, um, like I said, I, I started to, I asked Kelly if I could say this, because I started thinking, I'm gonna bring my words up here for this. Even though it's a song I've known for a really long time, it's one of those that I, I forget because I get into it. Um, and I thought about one of the reasons I don't know is right at the moment, I have three shows now that I'm sort of involved with. And so suddenly they all run together when you're putting all that together in your brain. And so even though I might know the song, I look out to you and suddenly I'm in a whole nother production. So, um, what I'd like to sing for you is from the 95-96 season, Man of La Mancha. It is the impossible dream, and I think some of the words are applicable to what I just told you. But the biggest thing you can do is tell people and show up and involve yourself. Oh, 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 oh. 
to try when your arms are too weary to reach the unreachable star. This is my quest to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or cause. Still strove with his last ounce of courage.